What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Kira Coop. And in today's video, we are going to be discussing the Sephora VIB sales event. So if you're interested, keep watching. Yeah. Yeah. No, I really can't complain. Okay guys, thanks again for coming back to the channel. Before we even go any further, before we go any further, before you do anything else, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time that I upload a video. Also, like y'all, like this video. Just go ahead and like it now because you already know you're going to like it. So just go ahead and like it now. Okay, go ahead. I'm going to wait. Okay, thank you. It don't take you that long. <laughs> like the video, y'all, and subscribe to the channel. Just hit the notification bell. Show your girl some love. I'm trying to get my channel started. I'm trying to grow, you know, my YouTube. So anything is appreciated. I really do appreciate it. Again, we are going to be talking about the Sephora sales event. Now, this in this event, what I like to do, I like to buy things that I need. Well, we really don't need none of this stuff, but things that I want, okay? <laughs> I like to start with the things that are a necessity to me. Like if I have a foundation that I know I use, and this is around the time that I restock up on that foundation. Um, maybe there's a spring scent or a summer scent that I wanna get that I have been looking at during the fall that I didn't necessarily purchase. I will go ahead and get that now to save that percentage off. Now, the Sephora sale is broken up into three tiers. So if you are a VIB Rouge, you get the shop from April 1st to April 11th, and you'll save 20% off your purchases. If you are a VIB, you get to shop April 5th through April the 11th to the end of the sale. And if you are just a VIB insider, you will get to shop from the 7th to the 11th. So it's a pretty long sale. So you still have time. You have time to go in the store. You have time to buy things online. Me personally, I go in the store and I buy things online. And sometimes I make about two or three online purchases. I, I don't know why, it just happens that way. So you kind of have time, guys, to, to get what you want and see what other people are buying. You will see other videos on YouTube so you can kind of, you know, get your cart together, which is what I did. Guys, Sephora is also offering 30% off all Sephora collection products. Sephora also sent a link to Rouge customers and they can share that link with a friend and that friend can save 20% off. It is April 4th. Okay, guys, so the first items that you're going to see in my shopping cart are going to be fragrances. Again, fragrances are something that they are going to be rather big purchases. So I would rather save on those, honestly, than anything in the store than on the makeup. But I do like to get one to two fragrances during this sale. The fragrances that I'm looking at right now are the Killian Share, Killian Angel Share. Um, that's a scent that I I don't know why I never bought it. I mean, I see I put it in my car all the time, put it in my car every sale. I had it in my car in December when they did the um the fragrance event. They had a fragrance event, and you say like I think it was like 2015, 20% during that time frame, and I ended up getting something else, and I should have just got that. But I do plan on getting that scent this year uh, another scent that i plan on getting is the ysl libre intense this is going to be my second bottle this is one of my favorite perfumes i love this scent i don't know when you're supposed to wear it i'm, I'm not a fragrance guru i'm an enthusiast <laughs> but i wear it all year because i like it i love that scent um i had the smaller bottle i'm pretty much out of it i actually showed it in um my uh, fragrance video, my, one of my fragrance videos, I will link that below if you haven't seen it, but I do need to re-up on that. So I'm gonna go ahead and purchase the bigger bottle. Another scent I'm looking to get is the Tom Ford Soleil Nage. And this scent, I kind of went back and forth about it. Um, I do have the Soleil Blanc, the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc, and I love that one. I love it in the summertime, it's so pretty. It's nice if you, it's just a nice scent, skin scent, if you're on the beach or, 
anywhere hot. I, that's the that's what I associate Soleil um, Blanc with. With anything in heat, Miami, Bahamas, any place like that. It's just it smells so good to me. But I am looking at the Soleil Nage, and in my opinion, the Soleil Nage is a little lighter than the Blanc. But I love the smell of the, the scent as well. So I do plan on getting that one as well. Okay, guys, now we get into the makeup. Yeah, girl, the makeup. Okay, so what I like to do during this sale, like I said, I like to get my foundations. Now, what's in my cart now, you guys are going to see it. You should see it somewhere on the screen, on this side, that side, you're going to see it. One of my favorite foundations I like to get is the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. I have bought this foundation since Jackie Ina did the collab with them. And I've bought it ever since. I, I buy it all the time. I love that foundation. I think it looks really good on my skin. I have it on now. I, I wear it all the time. I wear it if I'm going someplace like super, if I got to be super dressed up or super beat, I can wear it, you know, casually if I just want to throw something on my face. It's just a really good foundation. So I will be re-upping on that. I buy it every sale. So that means I buy it about two two times a year. So for us having anything, like any type of savings event, because you know sometimes they will pop up and do something throughout the year, I'm going to buy that foundation. Yeah, I'm going to buy it. The next foundation that I'm going to be purchasing is a, is a Sephora brand foundation, and it's a Sephora Best Skin Ever. And that foundation is just what it is. It is your best. It just makes your skin look so good. Like I'm getting tongue tied saying it because it's just the best skin. It makes your skin look like the best skin ever. That's what it is. Like I'm not trying to be corny. Everybody I've seen <laughs> like put that make that uh, foundation on. Their skin looks so smooth. It's a really good foundation. It's super affordable. I think it's like $20 regular price. So they're going to give you 30% off that. That's what the site say. Now, I work for Sephora. You know what I mean? But that's what it says. For a collection, I'm, I'm assuming the 30%. Okay? That's, that's, what, that's how we're going to roll with it. So, yeah, that's one foundation that I'm going to get. The next foundation that I'm looking to get is going to be the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Longwear Foundation. And this is another one. This will be my first Charlotte Tilbury foundation. I do have a couple of her lipsticks. I have about four or five lipsticks. And I have the lip liner, the Char uh, Charlotte Tilbury lip, lip liner. But I've never purchased her foundations. And I saw a lot of reviews on this. And this one is another one that makes the skin look really natural looking, really pretty. So I'm looking to get this one as well. Okay, guys, so we got foundations out of the way. Next is going to be concealer. So one of the items that I'm going to re up and on as far as concealers is going to be the Born This Way, Too Faced Born This Way concealer. Again, I buy that every time the sale comes around, just like I buy the foundation. Same thing. Same, great coverage, does what it needs to do. It's a great highlighter under my eye. I love it, been buying it since Jackiana did a thing. Well, I think she came out with the foundation first and then they did something different with the concealers, but I've been buying it for a couple of years and I will be re-upping on that. I will also be getting the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer. Now, I bought this last year at the last sale in the spring. And I wanted something that was just really neutral under my eyes. I didn't want something super highlighted or anything like that. Just wanted something really basic, you know what I mean? And me and the lady, the lady and I, we went back and forth about this um, this concealer. Because she kept saying it looked fine. I didn't think it looked right. We just went back and forth. And if you've been inside a Sephora store, you know that they have weird lights like I don't, I don't know what the lighting situ what's up with the lighting situation. It don't matter where I'm at, what Sephora it is. It just, the lights look crazy in there. So I ended up getting the color Teak in the Hourglass uh, uh, Concealer. And I, I actually liked it a lot. So, but I bought the smaller one. Uh, this one, I'm going to get the bare one. And uh, I just use that. It's just like, you know, every day, you know, if I don't want to be super... If I want it super light under my eyes, that's a really good one. And the last concealer that I'm looking to get is going to be the Fenty Pro Filter Retouch 
long wear concealer. And I really like this concealer um, from what I've seen online. Now with Fenty, Fenty is very, very weird on my skin. Like the, the shades are, they, I don't know. It's really weird on my skin. So I'm gonna have to go in the store and actually look at these concealers, the Fenty concealers, and pick one out, pick the best one out, because it's, it does something weird. Their, their shades do something weird with my skin, but I do plan on trying it out during the sale. Okay guys, so the next product that we're gonna talk about is gonna be the Cheeks. It's gonna be the Cheeks, girl. <laughs> we're gonna talk about blush, guys. Um, I, I love blush, not a lot of people do blush but i do my my cheeks are super chunky so i do like to enhance them i don't need like a bunch of it on but i do like to just do the little drop drop you know keep it moving go a little if i'm doing a little highlighter that day just boop boop i don't even use a lot of highlighter anymore because at one point i used to be taking that joint and just going around like sparkle up in that thing like <laughs> i was looking crazy but i do like blush and some highlights highlighters but um i'm a little bit more toned down now than i used to be but uh one of the first blushes that i want to try um and i've never tried any of their blushes is going to be the pat mcgrath labs um skin fetish the paradise venus and i also want to try the electric bloom and i'm going to post a picture of both of them now when these blushes came out last year they were like sold out i couldn't get them i tried and i just wanted those two and it seemed like every time i went to sephora site they were sold out so kind of gave up just said oh, i'll get it another time then I forgot about getting it, the last Sephora sale that they had in, in the winter. So I wanna make sure that I at least, if I can get both of them, I'm gonna get both or at least one. And they are so pretty. Um, I own a lot of makeup, but for some reason, I'm not into Pat McGrath. I've just recently got into it. I bought my first Pat McGrath palette and I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes a lot and I don't own any. So I just purchased one and I am super happy about it. And I will post a picture of the one that I have. I can't remember it off the top of my head. And um, I am looking to get, well, we'll get to that in the eyeshadow, but I am looking to to get more of the, um, into the Pat McGrath brand. Just haven't, I'm, I'm just somebody who wasn't into it, you know? It's one of us out here, yeah, just me. <laughs> I'm also looking to get the um, LYS High Standard Satin Matte Cream Blush. And this one is really pretty. I've heard really good things and saw a couple of videos on the LYS on their blushes. So I am looking to get one of those. Um, I'm not a cream blush person, but I don't see myself as being a cream blush person, but I've never tried it. So I want to try it with this color because I think it's really pretty. I think it'll look really nice on my skin tone. So I am looking to get that and I will let y'all know how I like it and do some kind of review so that you guys can see, you know, how it looks on me. And this is not a blush that I'm getting. It's one that I already have and I don't need another one, but I do want to recommend this to you guys. This is the Sephora Trio Face Palette and this is really, really pretty. Like I did not think that I would, I use this more than I use, and I have a lot of blush too, but I use this more than any other blush that I have in my collection. If you are a darker melanated woman like myself, this is going to look so pretty on your skin. And with me, I have a problem with finding. Sometimes I'll pick things and it's too light and you can't see it. Um, and it's for somebody of a lighter complexion. But this one is just right. So I do recommend this. I love the highlighters in there because it's not super chunky. It's not like you just do a bunch of glitter on your face. It's super light. I have it on now. You can't even, I mean, with the lights, you probably can tell, but I didn't put a lot on. But this is a really nice palette, face palette. Um, good, great recommendation, y'all. And you're going to get 30% off if you get it. So, And they have a lighter one, too, if you are lighter complected. So this is an option, too, with 30% off again, y'all. Okay, guys, so now we're going to get into the eyeshadow. Okay, I'm excited to get into it, but then I'm not because I don't know about y'all. Just comment down below. I, with me, if you're really into makeup, there isn't, for me, there hasn't really been any eyeshadow palettes that came out recently. 
that I'm like, I gotta have. There isn't any. I haven't really seen any. And I look on sites and Sephora, also all these sites all the time. But I haven't seen anything that I'm like crazy about. Now, what I am thinking about getting, we just talked we just spoke about Pat McGrath. I am thinking about getting one of the mothership um palette. Not sure which one yet, but I am thinking about getting one. So that's why you don't see it. If you look on here, you won't see it in my cart yet because I'm not sure which one that I want to get. For $125, I was understand you get 20% off. I got to make a really good decision. You know what I mean? And you got me with the 78 before because it was $78. But for this $125, you still get 20% off. But I still got to really, I got to really, if I'm going to do it. I gotta really think this thing out. Like, which one do I want? I gotta make it count. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I am thinking about getting one of her palettes because, like I said, based on what I've saw for the last year and the last couple of months, I'm not really seeing anything that I'm loving like that. So, another palette that I'm thinking that I'm thinking about getting. Again, this is just something I saw on the site and I thought it was it was cute. I could do I could do this. You know, I can do it. <laughs> it's the Huda Beauty Haze Obsession Palette. It's one of those really small palettes. And I have a couple of those already, but um, this one kind of stuck out to me. I love the colors in it. Um, I love anything that has like browns, anything brown, golden, orange, anything in that family. Is I'm probably don't like it, you know. But this is one that I am thinking about getting. Now, most of these Huda Beauty um, palettes, they're really affordable. So again, you're still getting that 20, 15, or 10% off, you know, during the sale. So I am thinking about getting one of these. I'm also looking at, um, this is another brand. I've never tried any of their eyeshadows. It's the Patrick Ta Major Dimensions um, palette. And this is really nice too. Like I said, I kind of stay within these colors. I do have some that, you know, that are, you know, I can get crazy sometimes, but I'm not really wearing them now. But, you know, I try to be more practical. This is something to me that's more practical than I will wear. So this is another option that I'm thinking about getting as well. Okay, guys, now we're going to go to setting powders and setting sprays. Now, these two products are not anything new. I buy them time and time again. Man, uh, like I do everything else. So the first item is going to be the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. Now, I love this setting spray. I'm going to put a picture up so you guys can see it, so you know what to get, if you, just in case you're visual like me. Now, I'm going to read up on this. I normally try to buy the travel and the big one. So I'll keep the travel one if I'm traveling and I'm planning on going somewhere because I don't want to take my big one. And if you're flying, you can't take the big one through TSA. And I'll keep the big one for in the house. So you don't see it in my cart because at the time I'm filming this video, it was sold out. But I'm pretty sure they're going to have it on stock when the sale comes because that's one of their like big, you know, items that they sell. And if they don't, I will just go right into the store and purchase it. <laughs> I have no problem doing that. And it's a great, this is a great product, guys. It holds your makeup all day long. Y'all, I've had my makeup on today, and I mean, it might look a little bit oily because of the lights, and I'm filming later tonight, but I've had this makeup on since three, no, excuse me, two o'clock this afternoon, and it is one o'clock in the morning. I'm filming this video, yes, it's one o'clock in the morning. So, it, it holds your makeup, and I really love it. I can get my full wear, and it doesn't move. It doesn't transfer. It doesn't look crazy, you know, when you take your mask off. If, you know, you're going out to eat, and you got to wear a mask, and you get to the table, you want to take your mask off and be cute and put your lipstick on, it doesn't look crazy. So, I love this. I will buy this over and over and over again. The next item is going to be the Laura Mercier setting powder. I love this setting powder. Again, this is another one. I don't know. I use this setting powder more than I use <laughs> anything else. And I always buy the small one. I think the last big one I bought was about two years ago. Every time they have this sale, I buy a small one. So I'm going to stop being crazy and just buy a big one because I use it that much. And I think I bought a small one because I do have a lot. I have a lot of different setting powders that I like. But this is the one I go to. I grab all the time. I got it on the day. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase the Laura Mercier um, setting powder. But the bigger bottle, of course. And I will pop a picture up so you guys can see that as well. Okay, guys. So now this is the last part. I'm going to kind of combine them together. 
this is going to be skincare and body care. Now, for me, with skincare, I, you know, I'm getting a little older and I probably need to do this and my body's changing, different things are changing, you know, within me. But I don't really do a lot when it comes to skincare. Um, I, I have a good cleanser. I, I make sure that I have a good cleanser. I use a toner and all of that. And um, I try to do a face mask, some type of face mask or some type of, you know, poor, deep, poor cleansing situation once a week. But, you know, sometimes life happens. I mean, I'm a single mom. I got things going on. I can't always do that. A lot of times I just want to go to sleep. Okay. So, in a perk, I that's one of my goals this year is to get more into my skincare. Um, I know with me growing up, I never really had a lot of issues with acne, but um, as I'm getting older, um, I had some health issues in the last couple of months. So I did have a little problem with, you know, some breakouts and some uh, hormonal as well. So I do want to get more into taking better care of my skin. Um, the face wash, you know, situation, I'm good with that. I, I always use a really good face wash and I don't sleep in makeup. Not unless, you know, it's been a rough night. <laughs> then I might fall asleep with my makeup on, but I don't fall asleep with makeup on because I don't want it on my pillows and all over me. Like, I'm not doing that. But one of the items that I've been using for about a year now is the Tosh Tatcha Rice Wash Skin Cleanser. And I'm going to pop a picture of you guys will see that. And this is a really good skin cleanser. It's really thick. You know, you have to lather it very well with water. And it just, it just really, to me, it exfoliates and really <laughs> cleans your skin really, really well. And I've been using this for a year. Um, now, they do sell this in a set. I believe it's like $64. I'm not sure if that price will change. Um, but if you want to try it, I say get the set because with the set, you'll get the skin cleanser and you'll also get the moisturizer and the moisturizer is really good too. I love the moisturizer as well. I use that as well sometimes. I go back and forth with different moisturizers, but that is one that I Next like. Next item that I normally get during the sale um, as far as skincare is going to be the Sephora Collection cleansing wipes. Now, I use these to take my makeup off. Um, I use a, a lot of different things to take my makeup off, but this is one. This wipe, this, these are really good wipes. They're very good wipes. They they get the job done. They get everything off. Um, they are super moist. You know, you just want to make sure, of course, you keep it closed, but they're really good wipes. I pick up a couple of them because they're so inexpensive, and plus, again, you're going to get that 30% off, so girl, get you about three or four, okay? Okay, guys, so the next item that I'm going to get is going to be the Peace Out Salic Acid Acne um, Healing Dots. They're dots that you put on your face if you have, like, any little breakout. So, again, like I said, um, the last year, been having, you know, some little medical things going on. And I would get, like, and also with the mask. I think the mask played a role in it, too. I would get, like, these little spots, like, and it would be right here. Um, I might get one in the middle of my forehead. It just don't matter. So I will put those on there and it does, you know, do something to the bump. So I am looking to get that again. I actually really like those. So I will get that. Another great item to get and y'all just restock on them. It's going to be the Sephora uh, Clean Face Mask. They have so many different masks, y'all. I know for Christmas, they were selling them in sets. Like, they sell a lot of face masks. So, that is a key item to get. If you got to go to the store and get their face masks, do it. Because you can go to Target, and you're going to pay probably a little bit more. Well, it just depends on the brand at Target. Some of them, they are a little bit cheaper, but the Sephora ones are really good. So, I use those as well. So, I will be purchasing a couple of those masks. And guys, I don't know how I forgot about these two. The Josie Marin Whipped Argan Oil Body Butter. I get that in vanilla. And also, the Fenty Butter Drop Whipped Oil Body Cream. Those two are my favorite, and I will be re-upping on these two in the sale. And the last items that I like to get, I uh, plan on doing like a makeup routine. But I'm very... <laughs> I hate to use the word basic, but I am. I mean, if I, if I like it, I stay with it. I've been using this 
stuff for years is the Benefit Brow. I love it, it works great. I've been using it for about five years, probably more. And I, I buy like two or three during the sale just so that I can have have them. That's the last thing you wanna do is run out of brown stuff because then you're gonna walk around looking crazy. So yeah, go ahead and get you some Benefit Brow. <laughs> Okay guys, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I upload a video. Also head over to Instagram, follow me over there at Kira underscore Coop, okay? Guys, I hope you guys enjoy the sale. I plan on enjoying it. I'm gonna have fun with it. I hope you guys do too. Until next time, peace and blessings.